back. I'm back, y'all. I am back with another video. This is another day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. He didn't have to wake us up early this morning, but he did. And I am so glad he did. This is another Sunday, you all. Thank God for Sunday. Happy Sunday, everybody. I pray that you all is doing well and got out of church, done ate and laid back. But y'all, your girl is just cooking. I don't put on me a pot of neck bones on, so I guess I'll fix me some mashed potatoes and I guess I may fix me some homemade biscuits and I may not. But let's get right down into what we're talking about today. Let's do a quick prayer and let's get in it. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come thanking you for another glorious, wonderful day that you have made and allowing us another chance to get it right. Lord, we ask you to forgive us for our sin, sin, and unseen sin, dear Lord, that we may have wronged someone and don't know it. For that, we ask for forgiveness, dear Lord. Dear Lord, I ask you to look down over your people, dear Lord. As we go through wars and rumors of war, somebody needs you, they sick and they can't get well. They just need you and they can't get along without you. We ask you to come see about your children, dear Lord. And I know you will. And this, we ask that as we discuss your word today, we ask that you be a God in the mix, dear Lord. Give us a word from you on high. I ask this in Jesus' name. I pray, amen, and glory be to God. So, I was looking at the verse of the day, the devotional reading, where it's talking about Ruth. It's saying, Ruth said, and Ruth said, Intrigue me not to leave thee, talking to Naomi, or to return from following after thee. For whether thou goest, I will go. And whether thou lodges, where thou stay, I will stay. I will lodge. Thou people shall be my people. Your people gonna be my people. And thy God, oh, hallelujah, bless the Lord, shall be my God. That is from the book of Ruth, Ruth 1 and 16 chapter. And so, the inspirement of that is said, Ruth had every reason, humanly speaking, to leave her mother-in-law, Naomi, as her sister, Oprah, had just done. But she would not do it. Why? It was because for more than minor social and emotional attachment. And it certainly had not not for any financial gain. Wasn't well, financial gain because Naomi didn't have anything. Uh, in fact, she faced the possibility of being a social outcast in Israel and and of the remaining and end of remaining unmarried for life. She didn't care nothing about all that. She loved Naomi and the God that she was serving wasn't working out. So she wanted to she wanted to serve Naomi God. That is some kind of love. You find mother in law and daughter in law now and mothers and and daughters can't get along. And then you got this girl, Naomi. Daughter-in-law, you all, a daughter-in-law, married to a son, wants to go where she go. Love her just that much that she may, she's going to be an outcast. Then she may, pos the possibility of never getting married again because she know her people wasn't going to love her. You know, she leaving her, leaving her town, her community. It's a, whether she could easily had a new husband in Mobite. She had a new husband on, on, on the Mobite. She was a Mobite woman. But Ruth would not go back to the old God and the old ways in her past. She didn't want to serve that God. There wasn't no good coming out of that. No way. That God had never blessed her. She hadn't got a husband serving that God. So why leave that past alone? She was willing to leave the past behind and try something new. And she steadfastly clinged to 
the Lord Jehovah, having been converted to him in her heart. You know what? That is some kind of verse of the day. Now, I love the book of Ruth. I love with Naomi, uh, the relationship they had, because that's a daughter-in-law and a mother-in-law is getting along. You know, Naomi treated her like a daughter, and she treated Naomi like a mother. And Naomi had everything. Her husband had died. Her, her sons had died. And all she had left with her two daughter-in-law. And she told them to stay with their family. You know, one daughter-in-law went on with her family, but Ruth said, uh-uh, where you go, I go. Your God, my go. My God, your people, my people. She was not going to leave Ruth. She was not going to leave Naomi. Whoo, y'all, this tea. I already know it's good. Ooh, that's good. I had some earlier, and I just let it sit where it could simmer. But the, what I was getting out of that, we can't even get along with a family. Family can't even get along, get along. And, you know, friends, anybody can't get along. You got a daughter-in-law, get along with a mother-in-law. What did they leave a past behind? Sometimes we try to hang on to our past. And our past, that's, that's why we got into all the trouble, the things that we did in our past. Sometimes we have to let our past be our past. And we have to go on to something new. Leave the past in the past. And then all things will come brand new. Try a new situation, a new thing. Because you've been trying all that other stuff. Ain't none of that worked out. Leave your past in your past. If you was an alcohol, leave it. If you was, was smoking drugs, leave it. If you was gambling, leave it. If you were misusing somebody, leave it. Leave all that in the past. Shacking, leave it. Relationship where you couldn't get along, leave it. Leave it and then try, Jesus, be sold out for the Lord. Because something new, brand new, coming your way. Pick up this word, get in this word with the Lord. Try something else. That ain't working out for you. Let the past be the past. When I look back on my past and I see how far God have bought me, when I look back over my life and I think things over, I can truly say that God has made a way. I got a testimony. Now, your past is just a testimony how God done bought you out. And he done bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you with more than you can ever ask for. You just got a blessing just running after you. When you run to God, God is right there waiting on you. She was, she was a woman and a strong enough woman to leave her country, leave her God, leave her people. And she wanted to try the God that Naomi was trying because she knew it was a good God. And she was a she was nice lady, respectable, honor, loving, and kind. So who wouldn't want to follow a person like that? Let your light so shine where men can see your good work and they know that it is the Lord. Nobody but the Lord. She wouldn't define it because she know going to wear nobody but that good God that she was serving. And she wants some of that God. She was willing to take a chance just in care. So I would tell you, try Jesus. If you, nothing else ever worked for you and you don't know the Lord, it is time now to come on over to the Lord Jesus Christ, your Savior, who died for you and rose again. It is time now to trust Jesus. Let him in. 
It's easy. He got um open wide waiting on you. Walk in the light. Beautiful light. Down where the dew drop of mercy and light. Shine all around us by day and by night. Jesus, the light of the world. So I just wanted to come to you and lift it up. Read the book of Ruth. That's inspiring me. I love the book of Ruth. So I pray that you all have a good rest of the day. Because Jesus loves you so, so much. And so do I. And with that being said, I will see you on the next video. And I am out.